and then I said, okay, so if this is what these glasses look like now, I can only imagine what they're going to be like in five years. They're going to be amazing. In five, in five years, you'll be able to put on a pair of glasses and literally flip on a whole virtual world. In five years, I believe your computer will be in your glasses. You'll put on your glasses and be sitting there on the airplane do, 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 doing this with an imaginary keyboard. And, uh, and, and, and it's going to look weird, but it won't be weird because everybody else around you is going to be doing the same thing. Uh, and so uh, this is interesting because Mark Zuckerberg, who I have a mixed relationship with, because I told you I had 700,000 Instagram followers and he just took my page down. So so I'm kind of mad at him for that. But that's OK. I got other pages and whatever. And um, uh, but 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 I but I I've made a lot of money from owning Meta stock. Uh, and uh, I believe that Meta has a future because Zuckerberg is taking the lead in trying to build out that future. Right. He's he's really been very vocal about pouring billions of dollars. I mean, tens of billions of dollars into this metaverse stuff. It's been a major money loser for a long time. He's gotten a lot of pushback from investors. But where he was very smart was he maintained enough ownership of the company that no one has the ability to disrupt his long term vision. Nobody, no, but nobody can step in and say, hey, you, you can't do this anymore. The shareholders are pissed and they're going to start um, they, they're going to do a proxy and or a proxy fight and try to take you off the board. He no, nobody can take that company away from him. Like Steve Jobs now with Apple, he was kind of pushed out of Apple because he let go of too much power. So uh, I personally believe in it. I actually think that what he's doing is great. And um, and, and this reminds me this reminds me of, of all, all the years I spent trying to convince my wife how great it is to work from home. Uh, she just kind of was used to getting up and going to work every day. And I said, no, people don't understand. This was back like 10 years ago. I, I'd be like, no, people don't understand how much of your life you're actually missing when you're at work every day. I, I learned that because I, I've, I've done that my whole life. My whole life, I've never really wanted to go into an office and just be in an office from nine until five every day. So even in grad school, I was like, what degree can I get where I can spend a big chunk of my time at home? So I got a PhD because I only had to go into the office twice a week. And I like that because I could call my grandma, but I, I got to talk to her a lot before she died. I could go and, and, and meditate if I want to. I could go on a trip and, and be on the beach and all this other, you know, like, like who wants to be at work all the time? Like, like why would you spend your whole life at a job like that that's not even mentally healthy and and what happened was the pandemic happened right and when the pandemic happened everybody kind of realized like hey wait a minute this is actually kind of cool not being at work all the time it, it makes me it really makes me think about why consciousness is so important because because the lack of consciousness in our society makes people easily brainwashed and we get brainwashed into simply doing what we're told to do, whatever the government says, whatever corporate America says, whatever our teachers told us to do. And we don't sort of expand and start saying like, hey, what do I want to do? Who am I supposed to be? And, and and so consciousness is where it's just it's just waking up. It's like, no, you, I'm not. I'm, I, you, I've snapped out of it. And so I encourage you to be conscious. So I think that the the whole thing circling back to meta and, and VR um, I feel like it's the same way. I feel like once people kind of get over the fact that they just think the metaverse is bad and and or stupid or only for geeks, once that you know they they can put on a pair of Ray Ban glasses and kind of have the experience that I have every morning when I'm playing VR golf, I think it's going to take off like crazy. I really do. Uh, you can have these virtual meetings where you're literally sitting on the side of an asteroid or something and hanging out with your friends. You can, you, there, there's so many things you can do with VR that's just amazing, and I encourage you to take a look at it.